Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Mitchell, leader of Calculator Programming Community Chemitech, as well as author of Programming the TI-83+, TI-84+, and Using the TI-84+, and I'm here today to talk to you about Article. Article is a project that lets you connect your graphing calculator to the Arduino microcontroller platform in order to control extra hardware like motors, LEDs, and read input from sensors, buttons, switches, and much more. In this video, Chemtech administrator Tim Geekboy Keller will teach you how to use an Arduino with Article. He'll walk you through the steps to program your Arduino with the sketch for Article, how to hook up your Arduino to your calculator, and how to test some of the example projects that are included with Article. For this video, you'll need an Arduino microcontroller. This is an Arduino Duo Milanove, although almost any Arduino will do. You'll also need a graphing calculator, like TI's TI-84 Plus C Silver Edition, or any TI-83 Plus or TI-84 Plus calculator that has the round I.O. port, either on the top or for the older calculators on the bottom of the calculator. You'll also need a link cable such as this one that comes with the calculator. It has a headphone style jack, but is a little bit smaller. You'll need to cut it in half and expose the three conductors that come out of the cable. In most graphing calculator cables, these are copper, red, and white. And Tim will tell you more about this. Let me now leave you in Tim's capable hands for the remainder of this tutorial. You are going to need one TI-84 or 83 that has an I.O. port. I.O. port. An Arduino of your choice. I am using an Arduino Leonardo clone. You will need a link cable that has been cut up for hooking up to your Arduino. Or a shield for breaking out a uncut link cable from your Arduino so you can use it without having to splice the cable up. If this one's not spliced. Um, if you are not using the shield, um, I'm going to apologize now. One of my wires broke during another recording of this video, so I'm just going to tell you where this one goes, but it's not here, sadly. Um, the default configuration for Article has us put our wires and digital pins 2 and 3, as well as ground. So, the white wire goes to digital pin 3. Zero, one, two, three. The shield wire, so the outside coating, goes to any ground pin that is available. The red pin, again, which I apologize is no longer here, would go to digital pin 2. With the shield, it is a matter of Connecting your shield to your Arduino, which sadly with this one, since I've used it a bunch, is a little harder than it should be. Really? Only on camera, guys. Are there ever these kind of issues? Connecting your shield to your Arduino, and then picking one of the available slots for your connection. Using the shield will require a minor code change to adjust the default digital pins that are used, but it's very simple, very easy, and something that we'll go over a bit later. Now that we have gone over the basic hardware setup for Article, we're going to go over a simple example of using Article. We're going to send over the I.O. cable remote key control key press commands to demonstrate sending a simple packet to the calculator. In front of you is an Arduino sketch that does exactly that. I mentioned earlier that whether you are using the shield or a cut up cable, or depending on how you where you choose to actually put your I.O. cables, we would be able to adjust which digital pins article uses. We do that here at the top of our file currently is set to default tip and default ring, or 2 and 3, as per article defaults. The shield uses 6 and 7, like I had, men I had mentioned. So I'm going to change those over. Oops. 
Now I'm going to go over, pretty much just skim through what this sketch is actually doing. In, we're going to start by setting up serial link so we can have debug information. We are going to make a new instance of the article library using line red and line white as arguments, which tell it which digital pins to use. We're going to tell it to reset the lines into the state that the calculator knows as to be neutral. And then we're going to set the verbosity of the article to true and give it a serial handle to use so that it can actually print out debug information over serial. In the loop, we are going to construct a data packet to send to the calculator. In this case, the silent linking command only takes a header and it has no data attached to it. Here you can see we have defined our header. What comprises of our header for sending a silent key press is who we are sending from, what we are doing, the key we are pressing, and the length of the data associated with the packet. In this case, who we are sending from is a computer to an 83 plus or an 84 plus. We are sending a key command. We are sending the key A6, which equates to M, and then we have no data associated with this packet because it's just a header. On the next line, we are sending our header with no data, which means we also have a zero data length. If rval is not equal to zero, we print rval for debug information. Otherwise, we look to see that the calculator has acknowledged our sending of a key press. And again, if our value is not zero, we print out our error code. If it is zero, is is the, if it is zero, we look to get the fact that the key was actually processed, and again, if there is an error, print it out. If not, we continue back at the top of our loop, sending, a key, key, sending an M key press about every two M's per second. After we have flashed the program to our Arduino, hooking the Arduino up to the calculator is easy. As before, if you are using a splice cable, all you need to do is make your connections to the breakouts and then plug your cable into your calculator. With the shield, same thing. You plug your cable into your shield and the other end of the cable into the calculator. After that, we apply power for our Arduino. And as you can see on the screen, kind of, it is sending M key presses repeatedly. There we go. Now it's out of the bootloader. Nice and simple. Easy program. And that is how you get article working for at least a very simple demo.